hello guys it's Jimat from Jimat studios and um, today i'll be showing you how to retouch eyes in photoshop and then um, we have been on this series for some days now and i believe um, for those of you that have followed up on this series it has helped you become better both in your retouching color grading and um, um, camera processing um, points okay um, today i will be retouching the eyes how to retouch the eyes and um, how to whiten eyes and teeth in Photoshop is what I'm going to be looking at today. So let's get down into business. So the first um, thing I will do is either I'm creating a frequency separation layer for it or I can go back to my frequency separation layer and just work on the eyes. But that will be depending Okay, so what I can do right now is I will not want to use my frequency separation layer for this because first of all, I know very well that my frequency separation, I used a very high blur for the frequency separation. So I would want to create a special frequency separation for this, for this tutorial. So I will just go to my Retouch Academy and then quickly create. So I'll be looking at my eyes. That's what I'll be looking at. To create this frequency separation, so I think, yeah, six is okay. So I will just name this ice, ice FQ. So one quick way that you want to work on this, why we are going through all the stress is because this is a beauty image. So if it's a full body portrait and maybe any other kind of picture, even a, um, a half portrait, you would not want to go through all of this stress in most cases, except you want to. But for a beauty image, you want to pay more attention to the face and all its detail. So I will just off my high frequency the way I do for my normal frequency and then I will want to brush okay now for this one you can actually on it so you can see what you are doing I want my my eyes to look as real as possible. So you just want to m move the tones. The secret is you move the like the whiter tones to cover up maybe those issues that she's having on her eyes. Don't worry about the color for now. We are going to fix all of that. Our main focus right now is how we are going to make this eye look better than it was. Okay, seems this, the blow we're using is high. So it has retained more colors on the texture than on the background. But that's fine for us. Um, we don't want it to look too, too thick. So I just want to do some blending. Then we'll go back to the next part of how to get in this eye looking all white.
So we are done with this. This is our before, now after, before, after. So see the huge, the huge change that we have brought on this image. Let us correct something. I actually spilled on the black. So let's return it to the black. So for this group, I'm just going to mask it. And I'll invert it. And then let's just brush on the white. Okay, on 100, let's increase our brush and then brush on the white. Okay, that's not all for this image. The next thing we are going to do is I'm going to import my Udon saturation layer and use the saturation all the way down. Okay, this is not going to be inside, this is going to be outside. Let's close the eyes, let's close frequency separation. So I would I quickly want to invert it by clicking Ctrl I. So that's to say I'm changing the white to black, hiding the effect from the image. So quickly I would want to brush on the eyes to take away the redness, that's the color. Okay, we are done with that. Then I will just go over to my curve and then I will click on this icon here, icon here to mask it to my Eugen saturation. Or I could just hold my alt and come in between the two layers and then you see this icon pop up and then you click and then automatically click max the, the layer. So what, what I'm trying to say is Whatever effect I'm doing on this layer should affect only the areas that is being reviewed on this other layer, on the user saturation layer. So I will increase my 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 curve, take it a bit up. Then to review more um, details, I will take down my shadows a bit. So now note that when you're brushing your your user saturation layer, you just don't want to cover these red areas. Let's reveal it a bit so that we'll get that realness. You just don't want it to look fake. The eyes to look fake. Because you know very well that this is like a beauty. This is a beauty image. So the eyes matters a lot. If you don't get it right in your eyes, it will tell. Okay, so I think we are almost done with this. But the final step to be able to get these eyes not looking dull, but giving you that bluish white. That's the step we are going to go over to now. The secret to that is going to your your filter, photo filter. And then on your photo filter, I'm going to clip mask it to the curve, which is already clip masked into the user saturation. So automatically, all of them are playing a role on the user saturation layer. So I will go over to my blue. And then this is the beautiful result we get. So you see how we can get that bluish white on the eyes and making it look as real as possible so you can as well either increase it or reduce it whatever the case is but for me I will just I, I want to if you didn't control Z 
sorry let's just go pick our blue okay for me i'm going to reduce this a little bit to get that realness okay all right this is amazing so we have been able to work on our eyes so this same layer you can use it to brush on the teeth and on the teeth and get that beautiful white teeth so she's not smiling here so we can't really apply this effect on her teeth but if she was we'll get that very beautiful white teeth as well but i don't think i need it for now i'm fine so the next thing i'm going to be looking at is how we are going to enhance this makeup want to um specially request that if you love this video so far that please do well to share and don't forget to like this video and comment because it helps us to grow this channel to reach more people and lastly if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe make sure you turn on the notification icon that bell there it helps you to see more videos that will be dropping